Hey guys, welcome to another episode. I am very excited. I'm back in my favorite spot. I can't wait to see what I find today. And I even have some rubber boots for the occasion so I can stop soaking my sneakers and have to walk around and sopping wet sneakers all day long. I even found a little piece of Cal Sydney walking down here. So hopefully that's a good omen. I guess technically that's the first find. But let's see if we can find something a little larger. I'll see you then. So it is very early in the morning. The sun just rose. And you gotta be very careful with the ocean. Make sure that you keep an eye on it so you don't get caught off guard by it. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start sweeping the beach first. See if I can find anything there because usually those are really nicely polished and always really pretty looking. So we'll start there and uh, yeah, go from there. I think I got something interesting right here. This might be a piece of petrified wood possibly. Because at the top there, there's these wood lines that kind of make me think that it's wood. Like the wood grain. So it's possible. I'm going to take it home and confirm it. I can always throw it out later. It's also the only one that kind of looks like this because everything is mostly polished black rocks and then this one looks quite a bit different so possibility take it for now all right guys so i'm up in the gravel and i found my first one my first bigger one other than a little piece you can see it just right there oh hey there's another one right above it so two for one a twofer now that's that is awesome it's a piece of cal sydney not bad, not bad. It's a good size. I'll take it. And then we got that one. Pretty sandy. This is probably not going to help it much. I don't know. Two nice ones. Pieces of chalcedony for now. Let's see, I see some inclusions in the top one. Might be able to tell. It's pretty clear on, off to the right there and then in the middle it starts to get some inclusions in there. It's kind of cool. And I believe I might even see some bending possibly in there. Looking at it up close. It's mostly inclusions, but it's nice. This one looks like mostly a piece of chalcedony. But yeah, two nice ones. Awesome. That's a good start. I like it. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good day. I turn off the camera and guess what I see? Just right there, another one. And this is a bigger one too. Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm excited. See. I'll let's sand off a little bit. It's a good size one. The largest one thus far already. I wish I had some water. <laughs> Let me clean this up a little bit. Yeah. Good size piece of chalcedony. Got some host rock on there. Good size piece. I'm not seeing any bending, but Awesome, nice size one. I like it. We're already off to a great start here. All right, so on these pieces, I think this bottom piece might be a piece of chert. It's kind of interesting looking. It looked all mangled, so I picked it up. And then this piece just pulled out of the rocks right here. And it's a piece of petrified wood. That's definitely a piece of petrified wood for sure. And that's a really nice size piece too. I don't, I. Can't remember really finding a lot of that out here, so that's kind of cool. If the other piece, that first piece that I found, is also petrified wood, then we're also doing really well on petrified wood. But yeah, this is for sure petrified wood. So that's an awesome piece. Really happy with that. All right, let's see what more we can find. I just pulled out another piece of petrified wood. Pretty nice. Finding a lot of that recently. See that wood grain in there? It's pretty cool. It's more petrified wood than I found. Well, since my first couple years of looking for rocks, all of a sudden now I'm starting to find them everywhere. Interesting. I'll take it. Nicely polished too. This looks like a pretty nice size and good color piece of jasper in there. I've told, talked about it in other videos. I'll take jasper, but it has to be pretty good color and good size and stuff you know I 
Jasper is fairly common, so unless it has something pretty cool about it, I just don't always take it. But that's not bad. It's a good size, good color. I'll take that. Look at this piece. Really nicely silicated piece of Jasper. It's got some fun colors in there. Quite like that. It's maybe the outer rind there. Yeah, that's worth taking. I'll take it. Not bad. Look at that nice piece of Jasper. It's a good size, good color, nicely rounded, but it's just a little too stuck in there. This clay is very, very tough. So I'm probably gonna leave this one behind. But it's nice to look at. Lots of Jasper right now. Look at this nice piece. Nicely silicated. Got a little bit of red Jasper at the tip here. It's a nice piece. Good color. Nicely silicated, as I said, it's also important. You see that at the conchoidal fractures at the top there. It's a good indicator. So yeah, I'll take that. Nice piece. So I came to wash off this piece of petrified wood, which is black. I don't usually find those ones. Usually they're brown for me. But that's cool. Looks like it might have some agate in it. So that's pretty neat. But I came to rinse this off and then I seen just a little agate poking out right there. Oh, it's not a... It's not a bad one. Piece of chalcedony. You can see that white rind on top there. Pretty nice. I'll take it. Speaking of Jasper, there's also plenty of that. See a piece right here. It's got pretty good color. Oh, it looks like it's a little larger than what it appears to be. Oh yeah, that <laughs> wow. That got a lot larger. All right, all right. That's nice, actually. Got some quartz running through it. Could be chalcedony as well. That's pretty nice. I noticed another one right here as well. It's all got good color. So, take a couple of these pieces, you know. Also, found a fairly good sized piece right here, but I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that a little closer, I think. I might take it, just because it's a pretty good sized piece, you know. Yeah, yeah, what the heck. I'll just take it. It's pretty nice. Cool. Was rinsing off this little piece of Jasper when I noticed this guy. Look at that. Rinse it off. Hey, nice, nice. That is a piece of carnelian. It's the first piece of the day. It's looking nice and bubbly. I like it. Not a lot of imperfections on it. I don't really see any bands, but looks nice. I'm back on the agates. I wasn't finding too many a little while ago. Mostly finding jaspers and petrified wood and stuff like that. So it's good to be finding some agates again. Look at this funky stone. Looks like uh, Dalmatian or, well, Dalmatian actually. It's the Dalmatian rock. <laughs> interesting. I'll just take it just because it is interesting. Pulled up this piece of Jasper to go wash it off. Pretty good sized chunk, good color and again, just like the ones before. But then I see that. I think that is an Eggets and it's a good size one too if it is. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Good one. Piece of Chalcedony. Yes. That's a good one. That is the biggest one thus far. Um, looks like this is where some crystals were before, some calcite crystals, because I can see some impressions. It looks like it's mostly intact. There's a little crystal pocket in there. That's pretty cool. I like to see that. 
something cool about it. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's an intact nodule. Nice, good size, I like it. Let's see what else I can find. This uh, brings my hopes up. Hopefully we can find some more like that. Thought it was a piece of quartz, so I go to pick it up, but I'm pretty sure it's an agate actually. So, yeah, that is an agate. Maybe see some inclusions possibly. It's pretty neat. Cool. Got some water right here, we'll rinse it off. Cool. I like it. Good size too. I already picked it up, but I put it back. This piece right here, it's really cool. Super waxy. I'm kind of thinking this might be a brown agate. And I've never found one this size before. I have found them in the past. Slide shine through. I see one, a little bit of light shining through in the corner there. I think this is a brown agate. I have never found one this size before though. Alright, this warrants a bit of a cleanup. Let's see this reveals anything more about it so this is uh, the, the same spot I was in on my first video where the source of the agates were coming out of the ground so this might be again where they're coming out of the ground Wow that is really agatized whatever it is this is maybe could even be petrified wood that's just super agatized that is really cool. I can definitely see some spots where there's light shining through it, like that corner here, and then that one tip. Yeah, down at the bottom. Kinda see it, kinda a little bit. The bottom right corner there. So that's really cool. Top left too maybe as well. Yeah, that's really neat. Very happy to find that. Wow. That's a unique one. Wow. So neat. Big too. Alright, I'll stop rambling on about it. But that's really nice. Happy to find that. Alright, some more finds. So this I think is Bandit Shirt. Possibly. Eh, I'll take it. And then this piece. And all these little dots all over it. Looks like it might be Chalcedony. Kind of looks like a poppy jasper, but without the poppy of the jasper. It's instead of like it being jasper, it's more Chalcedony and maybe quartz or something. Not really a hundred percent sure, but looks interesting nonetheless. And then I found this piece of agate. It must have come out of the ground pretty recently because it's caked on with clay. But there looks like to be a little bit of bending right there and it's blue in spots which is kind of interesting you can see all the calcite crystal impressions on the top there it looks really cool but this is definitely going to require a little bit of cleaning so once I do that I'll insert a picture of it in here but I think this one is gonna have a fair bit of bands in there so that's a really cool find very very excited to have found this nice one it's a good size too I think I found another one just right there I think you can see it glowing in the Sun a little bit there yeah it's pretty nice oh wait 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 look at those bands right there it's got bands the first one that I found with bands in it 
today anyway. Yeah, this guy's got bands all the way around. See right there. Very nice. That's an awesome one. I like it. Do you spy what I spy? Just a couple little ones. Got this one. Very small. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Couple little ones. These are the smallest ones I've found thus far. But you gotta find some of these too, right? It's okay. Actually, the first one I found was the smallest one. But that's okay. I ventured on a little bit from where I was, and I found this piece of Jasper, trying to find a little space to rinse it off, because it had silicated pretty good. But then, I spy that amongst the rocks and things which is a nice piece of carnelian. Awesome. Good size, not too small. I'll take that. Nice one. Look at this. That's a really nice piece. Yellow jasper there. Got some swirls going on. Nicely silicated. I'll take that. It's pretty nice. Nice find. Found a couple of interesting rocks. This one had all kinds of cool stripes on it. But that was kind of interesting. And then this is a piece of nice uh, banded shirt, I believe. Maybe a little brushiated there. It looks like it's broken up. Pretty cool. So yeah. Nice. Now this is really what I always hope to find, and that is this guy right there. It's a big ol' nice carnelian nodule. It's completely intact, but nicely polished by the ocean. I always hope to find that one really nice, good sized agate that's polished by the ocean. They just look so pretty. Got a little, little hole in there. <laughs> but I'm trying to see if there's any bands I can tell from the outside. But no, oh, yeah, I can tell very faint banding. It's gonna be really hard to tell, I'm sure, but it looks like there's definitely banding on the inside. Ah, so that's a beautiful, beautiful nodule. Nicely polished, very, very happy with that one. This looks like a banded shirt right here. Uh, yeah, I believe that's a chert. Anyway, that um, that nodule, carnelian nodule. Ah, oh, that's exciting. I came out way farther than I normally do to find it, and I'm glad that I did. This green rock ended up having some chalcedony in there. You can see it right in the center. It even looks like it might have some bands in it. So I'm not really exactly sure what this is, but maybe you guys know. It's pretty interesting, and it has like, like I said, little pockets of chalcedony in it. Pretty interesting. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I know I just said that twice. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm also not too sure what this is. Look how purple that rock is. Not the backside so much, but like, it's very purple. And the ground is also purple, so I don't know how well it's going to pick up. But yeah, maybe you guys know what this might be as well, because I'm not sure on this one either. But lots of uh, fun, different rocks out here. Pretty cool. I had to go wash it off so you could see all the detail. And I'm not 100% sure if this is petrified wood or not. But it's very stripy and really detailed. Do you guys think this is petrified wood? I'm not sure. But it's very cool nonetheless. Very detailed, very polished. I'll take it. A nice little hand of Jasper. That one has some green going on with it. That's a really nice yellow one. Really enjoy that. And then I noticed a little agate right there. Nice. Pretty dirty, 
but nice. All right, guys, I found some really interesting stuff. So I believe, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I think this is a jazz bag. At the top there, there's some chalcedony. So that's pretty cool, it runs through there. I think that would look really cool if I were to tumble it. And then this is the last agate that we found. Cleaned up a little bit more. It's the outer rind. Nothing too crazy going on with it. But then lastly, all right, so lastly is this piece. It's a big old piece. There's some light that shines through on the edges, but it's extremely waxy. I think, I don't think it's quartz. I think this might be, because I could see conchoidal fracturing there. I think this might be like a really dark piece of chalcedony or maybe a moss agate or Maybe, maybe this jasper just like extremely silicated because it is super smooth and very waxy. But what do you guys think? This thing is pretty large. Lots of color in it too. Like I said, it has conchoidal fracturing. You can see it just at the tip there. So yeah, what do you guys think? Interesting. Pretty, fairly large. I do think it might be chalcedony or something. Yeah, it's my guess because it has a fair amount of translucency. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Alright, as you can see, I did pull it out already. But look at there. I had to make sure because I wasn't 100% sure. But that is another completely intact nodule. Nice. Little carnelian nodule. Just hanging out in the dirt nice one can't really tell anything really that's going on with it because anything that would be going on with it would be on the inside and here you'd have to cut it open first but yeah a good size one good color cool winner on top of that white shirt I think I'm also finding a fair bit of blue and green shirt I think this is what this is what do you guys think I think that's what it is not all of them are that great but if they have good color to them I might take a couple pieces why not so I am slowly making my way back but I'm cautiously looking through stuff and I see that one right there I can tell that the tip of it is agate so this might be like a jasp agate or something I think Yeah, that tip is definitely agate. Looks like it might have just a hint of petroidal going on on the bottom there. See that on the bottom? Wish I had some water right here so I could wash it off. But I do not. Let's see. Oh yeah. That is definitely some Jasper and Chalcedony action, I believe. Cool. Nice little combo there. Oh, looky looky. Okay, I see sticking out of the ground there. I can already see banding, guys. I can already see banding. Let's pull that one out. It looks to be a fairly decent size. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one. Good one. Beautiful. So, let's see. Oh, yes. You can see band. Oh, look at that beautiful banding. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's a really pretty one. I think I even see some waterline possibly down in there. Yeah, really quite faint. But it's there. And then a nice banding right there. Ah, oh, that's a nice one. Got kind of like that bluish outside. The outs of the rind there. Yeah. Good size. Awesome find. Love it. I just spotted this one right down here. I believe we got a winner here. Pretty decent size. Yeah. That's an agate. Looks pretty intact. Can see some inclusions down at the base there. 
other than that I'm not really seeing anything but it's a good size one anyway definitely nice I'll take it, it shines nicely though pretty wow look what I just found right there that's a good size one right there nice carnelian looking for some bands in there It's a nice one. It's got a really nice color. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I'm not really seeing a lot of bands though. But, however it is, I will take it. Nice. That's an awesome find. It's a good size, too. Yeah, that's nothing to scoff at. Awesome. I like it. I think of all the agates that I've found, this one's got to be one of my favorites. You can see some banding. The face there. This is where... It's a whole intact nodule, essentially, but this is where part of the uh, nodule broke off and created what's called a window into the agate. And you can see some banding there, it's really nice. You can see some banding at the bottom, the back of it. More banding, which is white. So maybe that's more Chalcedony-esque rather than Carnelian. But it's really nice. This is definitely one of my favorites that I found. It's a good size too, good color, the banding, just all the things that go on with it. It's also very translucent, which that's something that I always really like. Definitely a really nice one. Looky down here. Another little guy. Looks like it has the rind on it. Oh. Yeah, that white stuff is the rind. So that's cool. So it's like a little nodule, I guess. That's neat. Not very big, but that's alright. Feel pretty lucky after the last one. Awesome. Oh my god. This is a really nice one. Can you guys see it already? It's right there. It is super, super red, just from what I could tell. Wow, that is a deep, deep red. I don't find those very often. Maybe deep orange. It's not that large, but the color sure makes up for it. Yeah, it's like deep orange with some red in it too. Really nice. Cool. I like it. So that big egg, it was the first one in this new little area I hadn't looked here yet. And I'm just finding a bunch of agates all over the place. You see that one? Just lying there, you know, ready to be picked up. That's a nice one. It has like a little cavity in there. It's like a geode. It's got some banding around the edges. Looks like mostly chalcedony. That's a really nice one. Wow. Finding a bunch of variety. Cool. Very happy with that. We're finding a lot of good ones today. All right, so I'm really on my way back right now. <laughs> but I look down and I see one more, as, as we say in Dutch, Nog één om het af te leren. Or, which translates out to one more to unlearn. Which basically means one more and I'm done. But you can see it right there. It's a good sized one. A little carnelian agate. Very nice. 
pretty one. It's a nodule. It's intact. You can see the rind on there. Uh, not seeing banding, but you would have to probably cut it open to really be able to tell. But that's a nice last little gift, I would say. Very, very awesome. <sighs> Found so many agates today. I'm extremely happy with the trip. Amazing. I love this one too. It's super smooth. Well, anyway, that's it. It's starting to rain pretty hard, so I got to get out of here. All right, guys, we're on day two right now. Got a bunch of rocks that I think got shuffled around by the ocean. And this was the spot I was already at yesterday. But look what I found. A nice big one. That's a nice agate right there. Got the rind on there. Looks nice, very de very detailed. Lots going on in there. You can tell that maybe there were crystals or something that were in there. Might might be uh, crystal impressions, possibly. But that's a cool one. I think I actually see some banding up top there. So that's nice. It's a great size. Definitely happy with that. First one for today. Hopefully you'll find some more like that. That's a good one. All right, onwards and upwards. Found a little piece of Jasper. May or may not keep it. The color isn't super rich. But then I did also find this Jasper agate. See a little Chalcedony pocket in there. So I'll take that. Pretty neat. Found this little piece of Jasper that has some richer color to it. Probably take that. Give you a bit of a contrast. A top one. Much better color than a bottom one. You know, let's all just toss that. Keep the nicer colored one. Let's go. Right where that other Jasper fell right there. Found a little sliver. Wasn't really sure if there was going to be one. But it's an agate. Just a little one, but that's okay. The little ones are cool in their own right. I still like to take those. So nice. I'm gonna be pretty picky today in what I take home. But I thought this was just a piece of Jasper, but then I actually looked at it a little closer. And it's actually a nice piece of petrified wood. Just wanna clean it off a little bit. On the way to clean it up, I actually found a pretty nice piece of red and yellow jasper. So I'll probably take that. It's pretty, pretty nice. But that petrified wood has some pretty nice wood graining on going on and with it, going on with it. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. I actually really like the way that looks. It's got some nice lines. Good size piece too. So this might be nothing, but uh, could be quartz, but I feel like I kind of see some agony qualities and there might even be like a band right there. Not 100% sure. Plus it kind of has a potato-y type skin to it. Looks like it's mixed with some host rock. I'm not really sure. It might just be quartz, but I'll just take it with me and uh, yeah, maybe this would be one that I throw in a tumbler in future and see if it is anything at all. Look at this piece of chert and host rock, I'm guessing. That is just too intricate not to take home. That's a fun one. I'll just take it, why not? That's cool. Found a super clear piece of Chalcedony right in the water down here and the water is coming up pretty quick so if I want to find some more I gotta be fast but I wanted to at least show you it real quick nice piece so I've got a couple pretty rocks in my near vicinity here first it's probably sticking out quite a bit is that red jasper I'll probably take that but then I also see this hmm I wonder what that is let's clean it up first 
Oh yeah. Nice piece of Chalcedony. Do we have bands? Looks like there's a little pocket in there. Um, it's not. I think there might be bands in there. But that's a nice one. I like that. So we got this. We have a nice piece of Jasper. Looks like it's a uh, red and yellow mixture. That's kind of cool, but it has good color, so I'll take that. It's also a good size. And then I've seen a very bright red Jasper here. Looks like it has some two-tone going on. I like that, so I'll take that as well. So nice, score. I barely turned the camera off and then I find this, which I think is pretty cool too. It's mostly a yellow Jasper with some red mixed in through it. Looks like it's all crackled or possibly brushated in there. But that's pretty neat. Definitely like that. I think that would come out really good if I were to tumble that. So that's nice. I'll definitely take that. Good color. I crouched down right here to look at that rock over there, which was nothing. And then I look up. Do you see it? <laughs> yes, it's a good one. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome one. Beautiful carnelian. Good size. Here we go. Ah. What a beauty. <laughs> oh, I love finding these. Deeply colored carnelians. There's just no... No host rock left on it. That is really awesome. Man. That is a beautiful one. I love finding these. Good size too. Beautiful. When it's cloudy and you see the sun peeking up, I just crouch down and I look up as I do that. Some people were walking by and I got a little embarrassed, but I actually did see, <laughs> I actually did see an agate that way. Okay, it's right there. I could just see it because it's so, I didn't actually see it because of the light. It's because it was just oddly shaped. Like everything is like polished, you know, stuff like that. And that one was just a slab. So I could tell already it's a sea maggot, but let's go, let's go grab it. Just right there. Boom, let's grab it. Oh, that's a nice one too. Good size. Uh, let's see if there's bending. Going around, going around. Looks like the center is quartz. I'm not seeing any bending. However, that's all right. It's a nice sea maggot. Beautiful. Love to find it. Awesome, good size as well. That's what I find is, you know, on this beach in particular, especially when they get washed up by the ocean, they end up being a really good size. So, cool. Well, a lot of them, not all of them. Found another one. Just right there. Boop. Not large, but that's okay. It's a nice one. Yeah, pretty. It started to pour rain all of a sudden, so I couldn't really film it, but found a couple more on the way back. I found that top one literally as I was being rained on, and that brown that top uh, bottom one, I believe is a very opaque one. Doesn't let a lot of light shine through, but it, it has the agony qualities, so yeah, cool. Still found a couple, but I gotta make my way back now. All right, the rain started to dine out a little bit, so I couldn't resist myself and try to find some more. I flipped this rock over, find a little piece of carnelian right there. Nice. Nice one. Looks like it's a chunk of a nodule. Yay, we got another one, just right there. 
popped it over. And I was like, oh hey, that's translucent. Go on. I dig it. I really think that people love just finding them on the beach because it's easy. You don't have to like worry about climbing on rocks and whatever else. But I'm telling you, if you take the time to just go through the rocks, sometimes you get surprised by something like that. Wow. That's a chonker. And we got water line. The top is quartz and then the bottom is agate. How cool is that? It looks like it snapped in half. But that's a good sized piece. Most people would just pass this over. They wouldn't take the time to find this. Me? I am more than willing to kind of climb through the rocks and try to find some of these. You find beauties like this. That carnelian that I found, that other bigger one, was also in here that had banding as well. So, awesome. Good size. Love it. Some of them you can hardly tell. Like, look at all these rocks. Would you be able to tell that there's an agate in here? A good size one, too? I didn't think so until I picked it up. It's just right there. It's covered in clay. Another muck. This definitely would need some iron out, just like the waterline and quartz combination that I found in the last clip. But if I take the time to do that, I think it could be very nice. It's kind of hard to tell, but that top has some uh, agate in there. So we'll see what this looks like cleaned up. I think I might have found a good one hiding in the clay over here. Just right there. Not a lot of sun to really allow the light to shine through it. But yeah, you can see it there. You can see that glow. Finding a lot of quartz and Chalcedony mixed ones, the last one that had all that clay and iron staining on it. This, this one has a lot of iron staining on it too. But the other one, I definitely think, has some Chalcedony running in through it as well. But some of these are definitely gonna need a bit of an iron out bath to get some of that iron staining off of them. This is one of them too. The little tip right there is quartz. <laughs> Funny one, but nice, sweet. So we came away with a lot of agates. That's not even all of them. I got a couple in my pocket. But that was a lot of fun. I found a bunch. A lot of different variety. A lot more petrified wood this time than I did last time. A bunch of jasper, which I kind of find out here anyway. There's a lot of good jasper to be found out here. Also larger pieces. But yeah, I found a brown agate. Whole intact nodules. Like really fun stuff. Banded agates. So I'm really excited. I got, hope you guys had fun as well. And I hope to see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.